and they are celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. We're talking about the LDS Film Festival. I want to bring in the owner of the company, Kels Goodman. Hi, Kels. Welcome to the show, and congrats on the anniversary. Hey, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be here with you guys. Yeah, you guys have had, you've evolved, and you've had so many films over the year years. Let's talk about, you know, how you have changed. Well, you know, in the earlier days, you know, it started with God's Army, which was kind of the big kickoff, mm -hmm. and, and that was 20 years old last year. So we did a celebration with Richard Dutcher. Uh, and then it's just evolved into like current day issues. Um, also get, you know, a little dr more dramatic, you know, it's, it's uh -huh. less the church film looking type movies and more mainstream type movies, which is kind of what people will spend their money on. And so we have to, we have to produce stuff that people will see and appreciate and not just kind of smile and say, Oh, that's nice, but actually really nice stuff that really touches the heart. So, I think they've gotten better. Plus, technically, they've gotten better. We've from the beginning of LDS cinema, it was back to the old 35 millimeter film reels, which are really mm -hmm. expensive, to now digital, which is really much easier to to produce. Yeah, and you guys cover a lot of topics that people can relate to as well. Yeah, correct. Yeah, topics uh, have really gotten more current day, especially with issues like race and gender, things like mm -hmm. that that are really uh, challenging. Uh, for the modern day LDS person, but I really think that it's a good mix right now. And speaking of one of those very topical things, COVID, you guys are going to have some COVID films. Yeah, we have we have a couple of COVID films. One is actually one that I directed, uh, and it's called Quarantine for Two, which is a film about two people that meet online, and it's written by Jenny James, who is a, a local author, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's a kind of a Hallmarky type movie where two people meet online but they can't see each other. So half the movie is on Zoom, just like this. Uh, <laughs> it's very emotional. So it's really fun, mm -hmm. and we're showing that. Our other uh, big movie actually we're showing is called Witnesses, which is uh, a film about the witnesses of the Book of Mormon. So we do kind of dive into the LDS aspect, but it's a lot more dramatic. It's not, like I said, it's not an average church film type. It's a lot more dramatic, much more historically accurate in my opinion. And uh, and we're, we're really proud to show that film during the festival. Very exciting. Now the festival takes place next weekend. It is in person. So give us the dates and a little bit more info about it. Correct. It's uh, it starts uh, Wednesday night, which is when we show witnesses. That's our opening night movie, uh, uh, the twenty fourth next next Wednesday till Saturday. Uh, and during the day Saturday, we have filmmaker panels, we have short films, music videos, documentaries all day long during those days. Um, the Sierra has been amazing during COVID. They've been the one theater that has stayed open with both their live events and their movies. And because their theaters are large, they're like 700 and 500 seats, um, they can cut down on the numbers and still fill just like a Cinemark or you know one of the other type theaters. And, uh, and so we just come mask and you come social distancing and they spread everybody out. Uh, and it's actually a very safe environment and they've done it, they've been very successful. So we're honored that we get to continue our relationship with the CIRA Center for the Arts. Very exciting. And the CIRA Center for the Arts is in Orem. So if people do wanna go, how do they get tickets? They go. They can go straight to ldsfilmfestival.org, and you can pick a film you want to see, whether you want to see one film, whether you want a day's worth, so you can get a day pass, or you can get a pass for the whole festival, and you get to meet the filmmakers. You can hobnob with them. That makes it that extra special. You're not just watching movies. You're actually meeting the filmmakers, so it's, a, it's an extra bonus. And so you can go to ldsfilmfestival.org, and you can buy tickets. It takes you directly to the CIRA Center for the Arts. Perfect. I love it. And people are going to be excited to actually be in a room with other people who like films as well. So have a great time. Thanks, Kels. Hey, thank you.